from our publishing site, we'll go to Site Actions and Design Manager. And in the Design Manager, we're going to choose Manage Device Channels. And here in the Manage Device Channels window, we are going to create a device channel. We are going to call our device channel Windows Phone Devices. We're going to make the alias oops, Windows Phone Generic. And the description will be a device channel for all Windows phones. And in the device inclusion rules, we're going to look for Windows Phone OS. So we're going to look for the Windows Phone OS in the user agent field. Set that device channel as active. And then publish and apply design. And then we'll assign master pages to your site based on device channel. So with our new device channel that we just created, we are going to use the Oslo master page. The Oslo master page is the master page that has less graphics and takes up smaller screen real estate. So now that we've told our Windows Phone devices to use Oslo, we click OK. And now we can test our master page setup by going to the Contoso Publishing Home page and appending device channel. equals Windows Phone Generic to the URL here. And we can see that our page switches to use the Oslo master page. If I take that device channel reference off, you see the page switches back to the Seattle master page. Not much difference between those two master pages, but you can tell there's a slight change based on the device channel. Now normally that device channel value would come from the user agent string that's passed automatically in the HTTP headers when the device makes its request. Here we're allowed to do it using the device channel query string attribute so that we can test in our testing environment. But in production the user agent string would be extracted directly from the request.